Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine Sky, and in the last episode we set up our fractionators which are making a pretty nice chunk of deuterium right now and we're storing it in that tank over there and we set up oil refining and we did a lot of diamond making for yellow science. Now hopefully today we can finish that yellow science recipe and start getting these things researched because we need them and we want them and we love them. So um, what we did last time is what I, and what I want to do right now is see how much crude oil we're actually producing. Uh, so let's see, we have 2.2 plus 1.3. That's, uh, let's see, 3.35. Okay, plus this one is 4.87. 4.87, and we're just going to call that 2. So 6. Point, oh no. Four point, yeah, 6.87. So that's like seven, almost seven per second. All right. So if these guys process half a thing per second, we're going to need 14 of these refineries. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so we need a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit more. So we'll go ahead and remove this little bridgey thing here. And we'll just continue this and get two more. Uh, refineries on the end here and that should be pretty good oh wait we uh we have our power pole there okay very nice and let's extend our belts that was not the right key oh there we go all right and this one goes here Hello. There we go. Okay. And get our thingies in. Somebody asked me if I ever used God mode to build. I haven't tried that. Let's see. Where let's see. If we press B, we are in construction mode. Not sure exactly what that does, other than uh change the perspective a tiny bit. But let's see. We want to output Petroleum there, output petroleum there. This one output hydrogen, output hydrogen. Yep, there we go, nice. Okay, so that should use up this entire oil supply. Now the rest of the part is a bit tricky because we're gonna need to use petroleum for two different things. One of those is plastic that goes in the organic crystals and one of them is the crystals themselves, which they need access to water as well as the plastic. So what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a splitter that's gonna split this petroleum um, and I think what I would like to do is maybe let's take this petroleum line down a bit and then add it to a tank and we'll just kind of have a tank filling up with stuff. We're going to leave a little leeway for some extra machines, uh, but then we're going to just have a buffer tank where this can kind of store itself up a bit. And from here, I would like to make the two different assembly lines. Um, let's see if we take... Uh, I think they're both in the chemical plant. I believe so. So let's make the plastic first. Now, do we have any other coal patches around here? Oh, here's the coal patch right there. That is tasty. That's looking great. So let's see. We're going to have... Let's see. How can I find this line easily? I just want to align this so that it's not, not in the wrong spot. There we go. Oh, this is looking great. I want to I wanna zoom in our fractionators again. Look at this. It is making stuff and it is getting more hydrogen. If it goes around long enough, it's going to turn all of it into deuterium eventually. <laughs> uh, okay, so here uh, we're going to have our plastic making uh, set up. Uh, all right, so let's get our chemical plants and let's see what we need for this. Let's see, plastic needs just... Uh, graphite and the fuel. So I think I'm going to set the splitter to be right here. And we'll just do one thing at a time. And then take that there. And then this one will go further. And you are going to make plastic, my friend. Okay. 
Um, mm -hmm. Just put that right there, I think. I don't know how many of these we need. I don't know. Because I'm not exactly sure how many we can support based on the, the ratios and all that. There are many numbers involved. So we'll just put a few machines for now. And if we need more later, we'll add more later. We're not doing any really heavy calculations at the moment, so I feel quite happy about this strategy here. And then we're going to take the plastic and put it back this way. We're going to do something very nice over there. I think we can have a box for this. So just in case, I don't know if we need any plastic for other things. I don't think we need any for buildings, but we might need some for other stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know all the recipes by heart yet, though I do know a few of them. So let's just leave two things of plastic. I don't remember any of them uh, for that. But anyway, let us get uh, a little bit of graphite set up here. So how many machines do we have? We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five... And that gives us what? We need one for every three seconds. Uh, and then we have five of these. If we had six, it would be less. I don't know. I'm gonna just going to dump a whole bunch in there. That seems like a good strategy at the moment. So let's get mining happening here. Oh, we need more miners. Let's go and grab miners. Do we have enough fuel? We should. We do. Nice, nice. We are kind of way out here, aren't we? But that's okay. Here's our fuel uh, selling establishment. A little boutique for us. Yeah, we have plenty. That's right. That's good. Uh, and here we needed to get something. Man, this is really struggling, I think, this whole motor thing right here because of something. Let's see, what is, where is this going? Is this still making these guys? No. These guys are being turned into, oh, they're going straight into green motors. Okay, and we do have a few green motors left, but I think we really need to maybe beef up this production uh, in general because it does seem to be struggling quite a bit so do I have enough belts and things yes I have plenty of belts that is not an issue and now it comes to the point where I have to admit to you I've completely forgotten why we came up here um, it might have had to do with buildings we have smelters we have those things what am I forgetting here oh miners miners that's right we were gonna mine we were gonna mine stuff so let's go and get the miners uh, do I have them made? I hope I do. I thought I did. Do I have them? Let's see. Those are smelters. Those are not miners. Do I not have them made? No. Say it isn't so. We don't have miners made? I'm sure we must. I was looking at the boxes now. I was looking at the machines before. No. Seriously, I might have them made and I just don't see them. So that that could be a thing. <laughs> really? I could have sworn we had them because I wanted them to have to I wanted to have them for other going to other planets and stuff. All right. Well, I guess that is not a thing. I guess they're not here. All right, we'll add a miner making thingy. I bet they're somewhere and I'm just not seeing them properly. Anyway, if if I am not seeing them, you'll let me know in the comments, I'm quite sure. So please say if you see them. But otherwise, we're going to make another mining making machine thingy. Am I sure I don't see them? God, this is so embarrassing. It's like, I'm not even knowing if they're in the mall. I could have sworn they're in here. They would. They, they seem like something I would make, don't they? You know? I think that's a reasonable question. It's fine. Um. All right, so... <laughs> This is so silly. All right, we're making more miners. I say more because I'm quite sure I must have them somewhere and I just don't see them. They're not happening in my universe. Um, and then we'll take this. Nope, that's not the right belt. There we go. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna make some, probably more. 
All right, very good. Power is needed, so let's put that there. I would like to make some more of these power poles. Do we, can we make some? I can make a few, but I definitely need more stuff for this. What is this? Prisms and these guys. I think we're probably lacking glass, so I'll just take a little bit of glass and then just handcraft some of these guys. All right, let's make, yeah, two more. Okay, great. Oh, we're missing the magnetic coils, actually. Let us go and get those things. Okay, so magnetic coils. We now have 13. Sounds amazing. Okay, how many do we have here? 11. Let's go ahead and limit this box uh, to, say, two stacks. Maybe three four stacks. I'm just thinking of like, you know, traveling to other planets, taking a whole bunch of stuff with us. I think that would be a great thing to bring. And I believe the rest is good. So let's go and travel to our other area. Okay. There we go. Did a tiny bit of sailing there. I didn't take off quite fast as I wanted to. Otherwise it would have been a lot better. Okay, put that one there, and let's get our mining going on here for this graphite. So I'm planning on having the graphite being that direction. I don't think we need a whole lot of production here, uh, but it'll be, yeah, it's something that we're just going to kind of like measure and, and see and, and see how it comes together. Okay, that should be enough, I think. put our top belt going here and how many of these veins do we have we have 7 12 uh, 18 and 24 so that means 12 mine or 12 smelters well let's see I forgot what the recipe for this is no the, so then um, yeah 12 smelters because it is one per second so that's fine very, very good. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Let's go here. And get the recipe. Okay, very good. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And then two. All right, very good. This will go like that. That makes it very easy. The whole thing is just nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some wind, uh, uh, wind factories, well, not wind factories. They don't actually make wind. They, <laughs> they utilize wind from the world. Yes. Just in these kind of empty spaces here. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. That is just good. Wind turbines. Let's see if this build mode, I don't know if this build mode actually does anything. It doesn't seem to, I seem to have to move my uh, character anyway to go around so anyway it would be nice if there was an option to have like a oh no no that's not what I wanted don't talk and play at the same time. Could be hazardous to your inserters. <laughs> um, it would be nice if there's a way to like do a through kind of thingy. That would be a cool feature to have, but I don't know how that would be implemented because you'd have to be able to tell it to go on and off at some point. So I'm not sure how difficult that would be to figure out a key combination or something for this. All right, so let's see. We want to go here and then we go up for this little thingy and then go down for this little thingy and then we're having our 
our graphite. So let's get our inserters up here as well. So we need, let's see, one out, in, 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 out, in, in, out, in, okay, out. This is going really, really well so far. I'm quite happy with our, our layout here. All right, and now we can have another line. The next line, of course, is going to be for the other stuff, which is the crystals themselves. So let's see, we need plastic for that. We need petroleum for that. And we need water, I think, right? Water, water, water. Yes, we do. Okay, so what we can do, let's see. What is the crafting time on all of these things? These guys are six seconds and the plastic is three seconds yeah we definitely need to have a reversing belt here so we'll put this belt going right back around like this for that and then let's take the petroleum belt to go here so those are going to be the inputs and i think let's go ahead and get the water belt here as well we have a tiny bit of water there we also have water that can come from there which I think might be a better solution. Let's just add the water belt here. And remember, we're using the fastest sorter, so it's not an issue that it's all coming from one side. That's just something important to note. Okay, let's add this thing like here, I think. And this is gonna be making crystals. Organic crystals, hooray. But, one thing that I do want to do is get a splitter here. Do I have enough room? Maybe. Let's see. Possibly. Yeah, we do. So that's fine. We'll get a splitter for the water. Because we'll have one, a small setup for the organic, organic, organic crystals. <laughs> the ones that are coming from the trees and stuff. Okay, there we go. So... And then here, we're going to output our crystals onto a, a thingy here. And what I'm going to do before we get to thingy over there is put a box in because we do actually have some crystals that can be outputted into this belt uh, to go toward the, uh, the other area. And that's going to be kind of important to, to keep track of. Let's go there. Take this one there. And this one, we're gonna get a power pole. Oopsies, no, 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 no. Here, put it in the corner. Cause we found out that corner spot was quite nice. And this is kind of nice. It's like when you uh, shift click in order to copy a building, it still stays on the same menu. So I can go ahead and just click the same thing, uh, click the thing without losing my space on that menu. I really like that part of it. Uh, it's a little bit handier instead of it always switching to, say, you know, the production tab uh, whenever you click that. Okay, so we have lots of machines here. And I want to do one tiny machine for doing the other organic crystals actually what we can do I what I want what I need to do is put in two boxes first let's have one and two and then we'll have our other machine here yep okay and this one is going to make from the other recipe because this one doesn't need to run all the time at all wait hello why do we not have that recipe? Where is it? Assembler. Okay, we don't even need this. We don't need a chemical plant. We just need an assembler. Okay, let's put that one here. And we need these couple of, um, of belts. Where are my bots? Hello, bots. Yo, come back. There we go. We'll have this one go out there and this is going to make this one it's such a weird thing that it's assembling 
those things and I was like okay you're just smushing plant life and yeah wood and stuff but anyway it's fine okay uh, let's do the output there that one has an output great so these are in in and more in and then out many many inputs and outputs and I like this I think it's kind of an interesting thing and I feel like there's also this kind of puzzle part of this because there are only three inputs uh, for the for you know one side of these things or these actually have four but the different machines are different it's not like in Factorio where uh, you can like add it at any part of the building and I kind of like that it's different in that way that it kind of has a different contribution to the puzzle sort of aspect of things I find it kind of cool it's it's a really an interesting innovation it feels like to me uh, where the devs have really thought about this and they're like oh yeah you know we're gonna do this differently and here's how it's gonna go and so I think that's kind of neat okay so here's the water coming in and we're gonna need to put this there and add this so we do need water pumps which I've kind of forgotten about so our well we might actually have some or not no there we are we need to make one of them or a few oh we need more motors let's see I think we need iron bars is what we need but in the meantime we can make this belt longer Ah, no, we can't. We need to transform that into other crystals, which we don't actually have all of that stuff yet. We need to get more titanium from the universe. And it definitely is the universe because it's out there somewhere. Okay, I need... Do we have any of these uh, regular motors yet? No. No, definitely not. But wait, these are motors. Hello? Ah, there's just like a handful of them. Uh, how many do I need? I, I'm just going to get the iron and worry about that later. I think we need to increase the, the motors in here. Definitely. That is something that I want to add and kind of improve on as we go along. Okay, let's get the mining water miner. Yes. Let's just make 10 for now. Okay, those are gonna happen. Let's get some more magnetic coils, these guys. Yes. Because it doesn't do to run out of those. Okay, very nice. Construction mode. It's still in construction mode. I guess it just gives a grid. I don't think that it does anything else. I feel like it doesn't do much else at all. Whoopsies, why am I slowing down? Hello? Hello? Okay. Aw, oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? It's nice. And I guess I can have a tank here, maybe, to store this stuff. Because I'm feeling like it's definitely... Oopsies. No. Okay, let's put a tank. I feel like there might be some excess. There might be some that needs to go to like thermal power or something to burn it off. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna add a little, this is a sneaky. We'll just add a, um, not C, come on, E, please. Uh, let's press control and click this and we'll just shove them in here. There we go, easy way instead of adding a box. If I can do that with, uh, I, yeah, I can do that with the petroleum as well. Let's click the belt, press E, control, and shove it on the belt line. There we go. Oh, saturation. Okay, good. All right. Um, very nice. Okay. So then, let us see. What else? Um, I do want to get rid of the graphite I have. 
So we can maybe chuck it in here. They'll take tiny chunks of it. There we go. And now we get the water. So we have a tiny bit of uh, real estate here for water. We can also get it over here and then just kind of like go over the top. But let's see if we can do this with a minimal amount of spaghetti. Let's see. Though spaghetti is just fine. We love spaghetti. We actually do. It is a real thing. And one thing we're going to watch is, are we going to get enough production from these water plants? That's something that is important. If not, we'll just add more. These guys produce 55 a minute. So that's almost um, one per second. But not quite. So we'll see what, what we have. We do need to get these two items as well. I forgot to pick those up. Um, but one of the things, let's go back and get them, uh, the materials that we need here. And we also are going to need to set up some titanium. Uh, but we definitely need that inter interstellar logistics thingy majingy, the tower. Uh, because otherwise we have no automatic transport and that is not ideal. So let's grab all of this, all of this. Oh no, we don't have enough space. Darn it. We can get rid of a couple of things here. Let's get rid of the old splittery do, uh, which is here. Yes. And then we have old belt. So that's two more spaces of inventory space. And I think I'll get rid of just a couple of other minor things and put them in this box. Diamonds, glass, sure. Till we get all of this, we need the crystals as well. Okay, and I'll take uh, I'll take those gears back maybe. And now we actually have some crystals, which is fantastic. Oops, nope, nope, don't want to go there. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, so here, the input there needs to be those other crystals. So I'm thinking we need to actually reverse this belt, potentially. Um, because I did it the wrong way around. I thought we had enough. But what, what we're going to do here is for this organic one, because we're not going to be collecting much of the wood and the greenery, this was a one-time thing in the beginning of the game so that we could kind of jumpstart this crystal process. So um, here's where we're going to put these excess crystals. So those can just go along the line. Um, but we need to figure out where we want to have those other combiners. Um, and I think they're going to be... Let's check what they are. So for titanium crystals, these need to be in an assembler. Okay, so that's good. We know that already. Where do we want to put them? They could actually go down here. I mean, we have nice long lines for them. So we might might as well just put them down here, I guess. Or put them up here. We have we need to have titanium and that we don't actually have anywhere yet. I'm kind of I'm wondering if this is not a good spot to have this because I could put the the crystal combiners right down here instead. And I'm thinking that's probably a better solution. See, if I moved, let's just hold on to this for a second. Well, I'll let it make whatever, because it's a lot faster to, a lot more, uh, no, I don't know if it's more, uh, if it's more better, I have no idea, uh, to, to put them there. But anyway, I'm thinking, yeah, I think, I think what we need to do is we need to reverse this whole belt and then move this guy over here somewhere. So let's just take these apart completely. And have this crystal maker be here somewhere. So let's put this here. Let's see, wait, maybe we can put it here. We could do that and feed it directly instead of having belts in between. That could be a better solution as well. So let's change this and change it to this. 
And then we'll put in the weeds and then the wood goes in the other one. And we'll delete this one. We'll change this to be going this way. And then we'll have the output belt going like that-ish. We're not quite done with that, but that will do. All right, wood goes in there. Anything else we need here? We have tons of water, which I'm just going to... Oh, no, no. Go away. So, menu. Right-click, delete. Or control, control left-click and delete. Okay, so let's get back to this thing. I want to reverse this belt. Uh, and that's just a quick deletion here. And we will add this there. This is going to be pretty fantastic. I'm really excited about this. Can you tell I'm excited about this build? It's good. It's good. And doing all this kind of like refining is just fun. Somebody asked me today, and I thought that was an interesting question. They said, you know, um, are, am I looking at some design that I made or, uh, have I got it memorized? And I replied that I'm just doing it spontaneously, which is exactly what I'm doing. I am doing it spontaneously. Um, so yeah, it's just, I just love building this. This is why I love, uh, mod packs like for Factoria, like Pyanodons, which is a, uh, it's, I don't have the recipes memorized, so it's a lot of fun to, to do something where you don't know what you're doing and you just have to figure it out. And I find that to be one of the most fun parts of the game is the figuring it out, making it work, enjoying myself that kind of way. And it's just so, so much fun. So anyway, um, here we have the thing. Maybe ready. Hello, bots. Go and fix that, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have this and... We are going to add, we need to add the titanium. But what I'm thinking is, let's have the output belt. I kind of wanted to have the inputs on one side and the outputs on another side. But I'm thinking I want to have the output here on this side and have the input on the other side. Because if we have to add more titanium on this, it might be easier to add from the outside. Though, of course, that's KOS speaking who doesn't have the level three belts uh, in production yet. So I'm thinking it probably could be just okay. But we'll do it this way anyway, because I feel like it. So yeah, there we are. <laughs> that's our, that's our real orange. <laughs> okay, let's make these crystals. These are titanium crystals, which cost organic crystals and titanium ingots. So we're just going to make a whole line of machines here. And, um, and hopefully we'll be able to make some of these. You need a lot of production of this stuff. It's pretty, pretty important. And one good thing is to actually kind of be ahead on the production of crystals where you might even want to save some in a buffer box. Like when the production finishes, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, let's just, let's just save a few because you're going to need some for the, uh, the pink crystals later. And I think we had, I don't remember how many crystal makers we had. Let's go and check real quick. M for goddess mode. And we had, let's see, one, two, three, 16 of them. So we can do another 16. So this is one, two, and we need another section. One, two, three, four, because they are one-to-one -one in the science. Um, but I don't know if we'll, I don't think we'll be able to fulfill this entire area or, or this entire amount. But hopefully we can get our production to that point. But we just want to, you know, reserve this space and um, it will work. There we go. So let's take this. This is our output belt. We're going to need some more belts, I think. Def well, definitely we're going to need more belts. Okay. Oh my gosh, we can't even build that many. Oh, all right. Belt time. Let's go. Let's go. I'm feeling very self-conscious about the belt situation. I feel like we definitely need more motors in the mall. And um, at least two, two makers, if not more. So that's something that's um, a good thing to take note of. 
And, you know, I spreadsheeted a bunch of these buildings uh, last night, actually, in preparation for making a proper mall build. However, uh, it ended up that I didn't know about this problem. The whole, like, we need many more motor makers. So that's kind of like, you know, comes with experience and playing the game just as we are now. And, um, and we'll figure it out soon. Okay, so we had those. That's fine. And so the crystals are going to come up here somewhere. I feel like we can do them here. If we bring them this way and go up like there. Yes. And then go down there to where they're like uh, this. And they go like that. Yes, very nice. We do have the inputs going on for those so far. Let's see. Feed more hydrogen. Stuffs. Usually when I run out of stuff in my inventory, that's when I go to uh, go get more. Ah, yes. And this is a good place for some wind power. Not that we necessarily need it, but it's fine. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. It's something. It adds to the collective amount of power. I found it really strange when... Um, so in my, in my test game, or, or one of my test games, I'm quite far ahead to where we are getting... Where is it? It's this one. Yeah. The one where you can convert your dishes. Let me show you. Do I have an extra dish? No, I don't have an extra dish. But you can convert your dishes to get high energy photons from the sphere instead of uh, the just energy production. And that allows you to produce antimatter or, well, sparkly stuff and then antimatter from that. And... Um, it was uh, it was kind of interesting um, because it would max out the production for those high energy things instead of giving enough power for, for the factory. So sometimes I it got as low as like eighty percent, and then I would turn it off, and then of course I produce way too much power. Um, you know, you know, changing it back to the power thing. And then it would be like, okay, we're going to hang around 90% instead. So it was like kind of teasing me, it felt like. Okay, so what's going on here? What do I... Oh, that's the output. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, huh. That's not what I wanted, thingy. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll fix it another time. We'll have the titanium coming in here for now. <laughs> Whoops. I did exactly what I didn't want to do. <laughs> Okay, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, let's add this titanium box right here. And I want to go and grab some titanium from the world. And we'll have a nice little sail out to the world and get stuff. So let's just put that out there. Alright, and we'll just do our in, in, in sorters thingies. Darn it. I need, I, I, I said that I wasn't going to do that and it happened anyway. Silly, silly thing. The meow is real. Oh, hello. There we are. Okay, there we are. Oh, we're using stuff. That's good. Okay. Uh, and I think that's all we got, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this stuff in a box. I tend to just go and like put a big box down. Let's make one. Okay. And chuck it here. I don't really like the big boxes. I feel like they're too big. Uh, so I don't really use them that often. But let's go to the world and see. There we are, Rastaban 1. There you are, my friend. Friend. I'm not sure if it's our friend. I don't know if a planet can be a friend or not. 
All right, let's go and just use enough power here to get the speed up. And while we're doing that, we'll look at our Dyson Sphere. 35 megawatts. We have 985 current solar sails. And I kind of want to see if that number is going to go up or down or if it's going to stay there. I like what our current rate of something is. Current rate of shooting. And that's going to depend on eclipses from the gas giant and also uh, day-night cycles depending on... Oh, oh, we missed it, didn't we? Hello? Hello? Planet? Where are you? Er. Oh, shoot. We were there. Too long in the menu. Not the menu, but the, the thingy. Okay. Rastaban 1. Let's go. I can't wait till we're, we get a warper and we can go to other systems. Okay. Hello. 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 That's fun. There we are. And we have stuff. Alright. So... Titanium. This is going that away. Uh, and we need to recharge ourselves really quickly. So what I'm going to do is, since this is a gathering point for stuff, I'm going to put in a couple of these... <gasps> no! I left them behind! Oh, no. <laughs> no! Oh, no! The sad is real. Oh, and I don't have my fuel either. Well, we have plenty. The hydrogen rods last a surprisingly long amount of time. But yeah, this is not usually what I do. I like to make this a tiny bit more organized. Um, I'm gonna put back, I think, some of these guys for making, getting some silicon back. Because I feel like we do need some silicon. So let's just take the rest as silicon here. And I guess what we can do is just fly uh, into the world. Hello. All right. There we are. Just follow the magic trail of stuff. I am going to not use all of our energy. Uh, and that's because we want to be able to navigate. Because if you overshoot one of these planets... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not fun. And and like if you're trying to navigate and your your energy isn't charging fast enough and you like you're trying to turn, trying to turn so hard and you can't. It's just awful. It really is awful. So that was a bit scary. Cuz as you see when I navigate, it uh it it takes energy. So anyway, let's keep on going. And we will go and deliver that titanium and the silicon. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going to be so great to finally get the mining going on our big gas giant that we have here. Oh, okay. We kind of splorked. Splorked. Okay, where are we? Okay, this is an area. That, oh, I know where we are now. Okay. There we are. We're almost there. This is so exciting. We are ready to start yellow science. This is great. Ha <laughs> ha. So good. So good. Okay. We are dropping down. And we are going to get... Uh, actually, we need to unload our inventory first. I was going to say, like, get that power pole working. But, yeah, we can't do that yet. Okay. We can get it now, though. We can put down our power pole here. And pick this thing up, actually. Here it goes. Here it goes! Oh, oh, things being taken in. Look at this. Look at this. We have crystals. All right, let's walk with the crystal. That's good. That's good. Hello, crystal. We're going to come with you on your journey toward a fabulousness. You are going to be made into yellow science. It is the dawning of a new day. You can see the new day happening. It's great. Yes. Oh, this is fun. The only thing I'm lamenting at the moment is we can't ride on the belts. Everybody remember my blue science belt rides in Factorio? Highlight of the series always. But we're going to walk alongside this thing, jogging and waiting till it is in here. Oh, it's being made. Yay. And now it has nowhere to go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't get a pathway yet to yellow science land, but um, let's do that now. Let's just do it now. Let's get this going across the water. There we go. Two yellow science. Hooray. 
This is so good. I'm happy about this. Life is now better. You can just tell life life gets better when this happens. It's good. Very, very good. Ah, but we, we are lacking one thing. And that would be a box. We don't have a box yet. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to... Let's take it this way along this little shore here. Go this way. So that we can get these guys properly buffered. It's always nice to have a box. You do not need to have a billion boxes. This is not necessary. Um, because each of these boxes, if we look... It holds many science. So this is a three, six, nine, ten. T so 10, 30 times 200, which is a lot. Let's see, 30 times 200. Just checking on the calculator, make sure it's 6,000 science. That's a lot, that's a lot of science. So um, at the moment, you don't really need more than that. But I mean, you can, I guess, if you really want to. Uh, but at the moment, definitely not necessary. Uh, so what I decided in my other playthrough is... Uh, we probably need to get rid of these wind things. Because I need to rearrange this thing right now. Well, actually, that's okay. We can, we can, we can keep that. That's fine. Um, let's X this. Change this orientation a tiny bit. Uh, a good orientation to have, I've found, is just have the sciencey stuff going. Actually, I'm going to use the higher, higher belts for this. I'm going to get rid of this thing as well, and these inserters. And these inserters are not needed either because we're not using that space. I feel like putting a, a couple of trees between there, but I don't think we can plant trees. Alas. Um, actually, I didn't do that well enough. I did not do that well at all. Just take this one off. We definitely need more of that material. Uh, this, these belts. We definitely need more of those belts. Because we're lacking. Definitely lacking. And then here, I don't know how much 12 is. Is that 12? I guess it's 12. Okay. And then yellow is going to come out here. And, and then buffer here. Okay, cool. This is kind of good. Really good. Let's put out buffer. Out. And then out here. No, 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 no. My... My, my, my. <laughs> You're not going to do that. Night. There you go. Okay. And then these, we're going to have the in inserters here. So there are uh, six sciences, I think. After these three, we have purple, green, and white. So it's nice. Oh, that was not okay in any way. Like, no. Bad, 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 bad. There we go. So it's good to have like six spaces or six uh, lanes of things happening. But look at this. Things are happening. We have science. Oh, this is so nice. Yes, things are happening. All the things are getting researched. Lovely things are going on. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, we are counting down the things. We have actual yellow science happening right now. I'm going to go dump the silicon in that box. Let's shop for some fuel rods uh, at the moment, though. We have two. Let me get a couple more. And in the future, we'll try to remember to bring power poles with us. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Oh, my God. God. Okay, so this was the silicon. So we'll get that made into processors and other stuff. How are we doing on belts? I think we definitely need to fix this whole, uh, this situation. This is a bad situation. Why did I do this this way? I think I'm going to have to kind of like, we're going to have to probably tear this up and make a proper uh, sort of assembly for this because this is just like these are gonna these are just taking forever to make 
can I add another one close by? I think I probably can. Let's see. I can move this thing elsewhere. Let's see. That's three away from that. Hmm. That's going to be rough to get the gears from there. Um, hmm. I'm just like trying to look at this and see and think. This is needing gears, right? Yeah. So if I do this in a line that way, I could put these guys on a line in the back. That would not be an issue. But there's not more much room, more room than for one machine here. All right, let's let's add one machine because one machine will help us. Okay, so that is that. I think I'm going to add Um, let's see, this is, okay, hold on, this is very, a weird height. So what I'm going to do is I want to add, well, first of all, I think I need landfill because I need to get this somehow magically here and it's not working at the moment. So let's go landfill with no decoration. Um... Oh, make it smaller. So like, we need this. Yeah, that's good. That is fine. And this line is gonna go, let's just use upgraded belts here for this and go here. Nope, no, no. Stay on the ground, stay on the ground. No need to get in the air and fancy. Okay, one there. Okay, that should do something that should at least well it's going to double our production literally so that's good too far why is this too far oh because we don't need that we just need gears okay so that's something and then the, the stuff is can we there can we here collide with other object no why why all right fine fine we need this to be here somehow. So let's see. We can probably do another one of these. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. And this one can go here. And we still have access to those gears. Or not. Hello? Oh, wrong thing. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh in here and can we do that yes we can and then from the back we're gonna get this we're gonna get these electromagnetic coil things um and this can go there and we're gonna get a belt to go there i think yeah we're whoa, the spaghetti is getting to be better and better every time we play every time no excuses here. We are getting fabulous spaghetti to happen now. All right. Very nice. It is looking okay now. And we're getting more of those things. So this is this is going to help, but we re I think we need to rebuild this mall uh, and figure out what, what we can do with this. So I'm going to try to come up with a design and get that kind of more, I don't know, more oriented, more figured out uh, so we can have these. We might even need more of these kinds of motors. And of course, the other thing that we need is these um, these fancy things, because these guys turn into ooh high strength titanium. Woo! We're on our way, everyone. We are on our way. So these, yeah, these are lacking those green motors because, and and with these, I think those are the belt step three, if I recall correctly. Yep, there they are, and they need graphene as well. But for now, <laughs> I'm so excited. We have yellow science. We've made it and we're getting the research done. So anyway, um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.